Choose a difficulty mode to start in. Battles are balanced normally in this mode. Play this if you want to enjoy a challenge. Battles are easier in this mode. Choose this if you want to quickly progress the story. Well, we're here for both, so we'll take both. We'll go on normal. So this is the love child of Nintendo and Square fucking Enix. The team behind Final Fantasy. Also the team behind Parasite Eve. This is their love child. So, I remember Gino. Like, I know Gino is a character in this, and I know Malo is a character in this, but I don't know anything else. I also know you team up with Bowser, but everything else is absolutely fucking... I don't know. So, this is going to be incredible. This was the predecessor to Paper Mario, and I love that franchise to death. So, I can't wait to see what Super Mario RPG is about. So just off the presentation alone already, you can tell it's a SNES game. I love that. You can immediately tell that it's a remake of a SNES game. So I played this at my childhood friend Ariana's house, as she had a SNES. I was not fortunate enough to grow up with the SNES, but I grew up with pretty much everything else. Okay, movement in this is like really, really fluid. Okay. Okay, I don't think we're getting past the double bouncer duo. Oh shit, this is our first battle, is it? Okay. Uh, let's see, we have 20 HP. I doubt we have any items. We don't have any items yet. What's other do? Defend, can't run, help. Wait, are those options, or is that like a... Defend, can't run, help. Like, is that panic? I don't know if that's panic or not. It might be panic. Oh damn, never mind. Oh, I can lay these bitches out. You guys ain't shit. The fuck? Eat your Wheaties, bitch. Drink some protein shakes. Mario just beat your ass. This is the very beginning of the game. This is when Mario's not even supposed to be tanking it. Oh, hell no. Don't... Dude, don't give me infernal satanic fire pits in the very beginning of the game. That's foreboding. That is the most evil shit I've ever seen. You want to make an evil castle? This is how you do it. Spikes, lava, fire, bouncers. Yep. Oh, and an evil throne and Peach hanging in midair. There you go, Mario. That's a good as chance as any. He's never going to get a better chance than that. Oh shit, Bowser's up here. Wait, do we fight him on chandeliers? Oh dude, are you serious? Oh, this is epic! We fight him on hanging chandeliers in an evil castle of death. Oh shit, okay. Let's beat his ass. We're doing eight and he's doing one. Mario, the chain. Attack the chain. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. That's a good point, Peach. Okay, so if you time... uh, It seems like there's definitely a defense command. Oh, nice, okay, I see, it's a timed block, is it? Alright. So I'm guessing the better you time it, like, the less damage you take? I am attacking the chain, you stupid bitch, are you blind? I know you're kidnapped, but you can't be blind, also. Oh, dude, I'm getting good at that claw attack, you ain't got shit, Bowser, you better hope you fucking rely on that tail needle spam. Oh, shit. That's what I get for talking mad shit against the king of the Koopas. Oh, never mind, see ya, bitch! Adios. No, no, no. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's a chain reaction. Hang in there, chandelier. I'm holding on by the skin of your teeth. Whatever you do, don't let go. Yeah. Oh shit, was Bowser crying right there? Did he have tears coming out of his eyes? Oh, what? Bowser just one-shot my chandelier. Are you serious? Oh, dude, I like how Mario's panicking around. This is quirky as fuck. I love this. This is amazing. I've hardly been playing the game for five minutes. This is already incredible. It has the charm and everything. I love it. Wait, he's still falling? How high up is this, dude? What elevation is your castle on? 
This is it. I'm gonna take you out, Mario. Yeah, foiled again, dude. Come on, man. We had how many Super Mario Brothers games? Like, eight? He should know that I'm gonna jump on him. It's like my signature move besides my hammer, which I don't even have. Oh, Mario, you have me so worried. Oh, you were worried? Suspended in midair? Completely out of the way of any danger at all? I was the one fighting the King of the Koopas on fucking chandeliers. He was throwing needles and fucking breathing fire at me and shit. She's like, Mario, he was not breathing fire. I was right here. Quit embellishing. Hey, what's up, Zane? How am I doing today? Fucking awesome, dude. This game is phenomenal so far, and I've been playing it for five minutes. Oh, shit. That looks evil as fuck. How many stars was that? Seven? It better have been seven, or this is false advertisement. So where did the sword come from? It just fucking conjured itself out of nothing? Maybe Super Mario Galaxy happened, and that's what birthed this evil sword. Super Mario RPG, original title, Legend of the Seven Stars. So I never got to experience this game as a kid. I never had it growing up. I was not fortunate enough to play this, but I've heard it's incredible. I've heard this game is a fucking masterpiece. Oh, that was so fortunate. I could have landed in a pile of horse shit or like a bunch of cactuses, but no, I landed in the pipe that goes into my house. Ugh, oh, dude. Hey, Mario! Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses! I'm not doing that the whole game, I promise. Anyway, I came by to pick up Princess Peach, since she's a bit late. How amazing would it be if I had to do that the whole way through, though? You guys would love it. You'd eat it up. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh, it has original music, too? It's all, like, remixed and shit? Made my throat hurt? It's actually... NOT AS HARD AS YOU THINK, SNAKE! It's not that difficult, actually. It's one of those voices I can kinda do on command. The sword fell through a portal. What kind of portal? An evil portal? It's definitely not a good portal. It's not like Half-Life. Like one of those portals. Save block? Oh, you jump on them, do you? Oh, this is adorable. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I gotta see something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there are seven stars. I just needed to make sure. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So where is she? I don't know. You never know what that bitch is up to. Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. More like I'm not telling you anything. You just said I'm silent. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Yeah, like I always do. Mario, I forgot something important. If you get knocked out, you'll wake up the last place you saved. But guess what? On this adventure, you'll save automatically whenever you go between areas. It'll save all the time, so if worse comes to worse, you won't lose too much progress, am I right? Oh, so is that something new that they implemented? You can also hop on this thing to save, just like the good old days. Use them however you like. They're great for taking a break from your adventure. That's everything important I can think of. Now get yourself to Bowser's Keep. The BBEG did the portal making? Yeah. Got Lords of the Fallen? Oh boy. I've heard very mixed things. I've seen very mixed things. Some of the bosses look cool, but the rest of it looks we ain't want. Oh, dude, okay. I like how over here is a fucking beautiful green flush vista of niceness, and then over here is like fucking satanic evil. With like red clouds permeating the landscape. Do I really want to go over here like right in the beginning of the game? Alright, fuck it, whatever. It's probably a narrative thing. I gotta remember that it's a Square Enix title. We're gonna go through some terrible horse shit. So this makes sense. We fight Bowser, we beat Bowser's ass, we think the game's gonna be easy, and then we have to come back to this evil bullshit, like, literally right in the beginning. Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser. This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. We have big plans, and this is the first step in them, if it weren't for nosy characters like you. We'd practically own this world. So let's see you deal with this. Please don't make it too evil. On a scale of 1 to 10, make it like a 3. That might be manageable. Oh shit. Wait, he has sentient psychokinetic powers? How the fuck am I gonna deal with that? He's already got like fucking 8,000 feet on me. I'm like 2 feet tall. God oh, damn it. 
All right, I'll be back for you later, Chief. Oh, okay. Mario's pad, I love it. Makes it sound like it's a bachelor house. I can one-shot him, I know the trick. I wish Mario knew the trick. It's probably like 5,000 steroid shots. And like, shit tons of insulin boosters. Okay, um... Well, we can't rescue Peach, that's kind of unfortunate. Hey Toad, um, yeah, there's this giant evil sword with psychokinetic powers that's like talking evil and shit. You're back so soon, did you forget something? No, what happened then? Was Mario gonna like reenact it? <laughs> that's fucking adorable. The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Character special move. The insulin boosters? The steroid shots? Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of the Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Got a mushroom. Whenever you want to use an item to get some HP back, press X. You heard it here first, kids. Eat magic mushrooms to replenish health. Eating a mushroom can give you a boost whenever you're feeling tired. Also that. Now, why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Uh, I remember. I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one plea. piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about action commands? Yes. No. We're gonna say no. I do know about action commands, but we're gonna feign innocence like an idiot. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter a battle. Okay. One character's move just does 9,999 damage to him. Not FDA approved, not FDA approved. Square Enix approved, though. It's SE approved. Timing is important in battle, so I'll show you what I mean. First, push A. Okay. Oh, there's action commands for attacking, too. Hold it. Now hit A as the attack hits. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God! When successful, your damage increases. Yeah, no shit. I was doing, like, fucking five before. And now I'm doing 34. And I hit the other dude fucking psychokinetically without even touching him. Holy shit. Good timing. If your timing is perfect, you'll take no damage, but action commands won't save you from attacks that hit your whole party. Now try a special move by pressing Y. Okay. So a jump is a special hit? I thought that was Mario's specialty. Oh my god. That just like broke his spine, dude. He has no collarbone now. Depending on the move, sometimes you'll have to do more than just press a button, so keep an eye out for that. By the way, each time you nail an action command, this action gauge fills up a little. So to my understanding, this action gauge was not in the original game at all. When the action gauge reaches 100%, then your enemies better watch out, so look forward to that. Do I get like a Mortal Kombat finisher? The more successful action commands you do, the higher this number goes. If you can do it two or more times in a row, some buffs will start to kick in. For you, Mario, the action gauge will fill faster as power wells up inside. I know that's a lot to take in, but never fear. So do the different characters that you get for your party, like, get affected in different ways when you nail action commands? If you press B during battle and select help, you can go over any of this again. You can even see the explanations outside of battle by selecting help from the menu. That's awesome. Don't forget it's there, okay? This is gonna be fucking awesome. I haven't played a turn-based RPG in forever, and this is exactly the fucking game to get me back into it. And there you have it, now you stand a fighting chance against those monsters. Goombas aren't monsters, they're people too, kind of. Now that I rush back, I had something to tell you. That's right, we need to tell the Chancellor about Peach. I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Three mushrooms, goddamn dude, Toad's packing. I skip them and Toad yells, you heard that Goomba's Mario knows action commands and the Goomba runs like a bitch. Yeah, kind of. Little does the Goomba know, we've been through like six Mario RPGs up to this point. I've played through every Paper Mario game except one. Oh yeah, let's go to Mushroom Way. Okay, so it's like an overworld type thing. 